Well, hey everybody. So glad you could join me today. On today's um, video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make homemade ice cream. And this is homemade strawberry ice cream. I think you can see some of the giant chunks of strawberry in there. This is so delicious. You just would not believe how good this is. And it's super, super, super easy to make. No cooking, no mixing, uh, not even any eggs. So this is a really easy, deli super delicious, healthy strawberry ice cream to make. Now keep in mind, you can't, and I wouldn't suggest eating this every day, but it is really, really delicious. That's the strawberry, and this is the coffee flavored ice cream, and it is so freaking good, it's not even funny. Oh my God, mm. it was so good, okay. Let me go ahead and get started and show you the video on how to make your very own homemade ice cream. Regardless of what your favorite flavor of ice cream is, my basic recipe for ice cream is the same. The only thing you're gonna change is basically the ingredients, what you put into it. Whether you put coffee into it to make a coffee flavored ice cream, or whether you put strawberries into it to make a strawberry flavored ice cream. I guarantee this will be the easiest and most delicious ice cream you have ever made at home. So let's get started. Mm. Hopefully I'll be able to <laughs> I stop eating. This is so good. Well, hey everybody. So glad you could join me today. Today is gonna be really a groovy little project. I'm gonna show you how to make homemade strawberry ice cream. As you can see, I have two uh, ice cream making machines. Reason why I have two is because they were on sale uh, about a year ago. Uh, they were really, really cheap. So I bought two of them and they're really a good, great name brand. Um, and they make a great tasting ice cream. So I'm gonna show you my ice cream recipe, which is really easy, really quick, not a lot of muss and fuss. And if you really wanna give your family something healthy yet tasty, and you know what the ingredients are, then this is a cool way to go. Um, I've gone ahead and set my, um, the ice cream bowl has to go in your freezer, at least mine does, overnight so that it's solid. And then I'm gonna put the paddle on the inside and what I have here, I have two cups of heavy cream, and I'm just going to go ahead and pour that in. That's your heavy cream. That's delicious. And I have one cup of milk, whole milk, low-fat milk. And I'm going to go ahead and turn that on and get it to start churning. And I'm also going to add a half a cup of sugar. So you want to let that all blend together. And I have one of the, those containers that you buy in the store of pureed strawberry mix. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that in as well. And you wanna kinda put everything in slowly, sort of, and you don't wanna overfill to the top of your ice cream machine. Because as the ice cream starts to churn, um, it may overflow on the top. You don't want that to happen. So then I'm gonna go ahead and put my little safety top, I guess that's what they call it, on. And we're just gonna let that spin. And as you can see, that paddle on the inside will mix up all the ingredients. And in about 25 to 30 minutes, we'll have ice cream. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pause the ice cream machine for a minute. And I'm just gonna take my spatula and just stir, make sure everything's getting all nice and evenly mixed. And of course, I'm gonna taste test it. Mm. Oh my God, that's delicious and it's not even done yet. With strawberries, that half a cup of sugar really helps keep it sweet. So I'm gonna put the top back on. And let it keep doing its thing. 
Okay, as you can see, the ice cream now is really starting to firm up. So it's been in here about 25 or 30 minutes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the ice cream maker and put it into a container and then let it set in the freezer for a couple of hours till it's really firm. Now let me see if I can make a little adjustment here in the camera. Okay, so we're gonna turn this off and take the top off of our ice cream machine. Oh, and you take see taking the the ice the paddle out, you can see all that gooey, delicious, homemade, natural strawberry ice cream. So I'm just gonna basically get as much as I can off of the paddles here. And let me turn that down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. And see there's lots and lots of strawberries in here. So you just want to take it all off as much as you can because you don't want to waste any, of course. This is going to be so good. This is going to be... Homemade ice cream is the best ice cream you've ever had. It's almost like making homemade pizza. You know, once you taste it, you won't ever want store-bought or any other sort of pizza. Again, I, homemade ice cream is like that as well. So I'll just set that aside. And then as you can see, it's really firmed up. You could eat it now, but I think you wanna let it firm up a little bit. At least that's also what the instructions say from the manufacturer. And this is one of the easiest ice cream recipes I have ever made. And once I kind of figured out, had an ice cream base that would work for just about any flavor ice cream, I pretty much stick with that. Um, so I want to get it all out of here. Kind of clean up this container a little bit. And you'll see it makes quite a bit of ice cream. If you see these ice cream makers on sale anywhere, you should get them because they're great. They never, ever, ever fail or let me down. So see, and I actually came across one of these kind of ice cream shaped uh, containers in the store, these plastic containers. So I'm just gonna smooth all the ice cream out and I'm gonna go ahead and set this in a freezer for a couple of hours and then we'll take a look at it. Okay, and the other flavor of coffee we're gonna make today uh, remember you're gonna put your freezer bowl on and this has been in your freezer at least overnight and we're gonna put in the freezer paddle remember we have two cups of heavy cream and one cup of milk and I actually made about a cup and a half of very very strong coffee so this is gonna be a coffee flavored ice cream and I may also add some mint chocolate chips to it. So just gonna put our little safety thing on and that's all there is to it. So this is gonna be coffee flavored ice cream. And for your coffee flavored uh, ice cream, you also wanna add about a third of a cup of sugar. Otherwise it's just gonna be like black coffee uh, without any sugar. It won't be sweet at all. So that's about a third cup of sugar. Okay, so now we've let the coffee flavored ice cream do its thing. So we're going to turn the mixer off, take the top off, and you can see the ice cream, it got nice and firm. So we're going to take as much of that off the ice cream paddle as we can because we don't want to waste any and then we set that aside and remember my handy dandy container that actually kind of sort of even looks like uh the, the tubs of ice cream that you buy at the store so let me move this aside so we're basically going to scoop out all of the ice cream put it into this plastic container and let it chill in the freezer for a couple of hours. 
and it'll be ready to serve in just a little bit of time. So once again, here's some real easy ways to make some delicious at-home treats that you know what the ingredients are and your family and friends will really get a big kick out of the fact that you went through so much trouble and made such a delicious dessert just for them. And that's all you do. That's all there is to it. Just going to put the top on this, put it in the freezer, and enjoy. So good luck, and I'd love to see any pictures of anything that you guys create. You can just post to my Facebook page or just send me an email. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.